I was homeless, um, heavily involved in the streets, drugs. I was kind of just more of like a shadow of life. Kind of almost was at the point where I was just hoping something bad happened, just put me out of my misery. I just kind of was bl blessed to be pregnant because it slowed me down a lot. I took those doctor's visits and that bonding period as her life is important. And that kind of translated to saying to myself, Jere, your life is important too. So I have a four-year-old daughter who attends Guardian Angel Settlement. Her name is Apple, like the fruit. <laughs> I look at her and see myself, my reflection, my growth through her. She means the world to me. I had to heal myself before I was able to bring my child into the world. So, yeah, she was just a guardian angel, literally. In my old life, I used to be a broker slash banker. I was doing very well back in, you know, the early 2000s. I owned a home. I was um, a taxpayer, just living the American dream. I was one of the individuals that lost my position, lost my job, lost my home, lost everything moved to the city, got an apartment. If the guardian angel hadn't been there for me, I wouldn't have been able to maintain. So it's been a, a huge blessing. This place is like uh, a rock. It's like, you know, family. I'd like to, you know, pick up right where I left off in 08. I had just come out of homelessness. I had just got my apartment here in the community. That was in 2011, and I've been coming here ever since. The, the services I've received from Gordon Nation have been phenomenal. The caring and uh, understanding the needs of the people. And you have the opportunity to sit down and really vent, and they listen. You know, they pay attention. You know, we have discussions on uh, employment, how to find employment, uh, interviews on how to uh, prepare for interviews in so many ways I have uh, you know I, I have grown People do not know about us, um, but we have some of the best bargains in the city. I had a wallet <laughs> I brought down, you know, and uh, it was in good shape. It was older, but it was in good shape. And the gentleman bought it. He paid a dollar for it. And I was watching him buy that wallet and put his stuff in it. I'm thinking, that's just what I did when I bought it, you know. <laughs> it's just, so it's the same thing. You know, people are people. I love the people that come in here. We've become close friends with a lot of them, too. Oh, so yeah, a yeah. lot of them. And it's nice to meet the public. At least I've been shy. This is a good experience to teach me how to uh, get around the public and hope I can improve. I think the people that we've worked with have always been wonderful. And our clients, you can see that they're really in need. And uh, so I think it's a very worthy uh, place to volunteer and spend my extra time. And I just want to help somebody along the way. Someone who may come in and not feel well that day, I'll go over and say, hey, it's okay. We can have days that we don't feel well. We're all getting older. <laughs> we need some new blood, <laughs> young people. I haven't worked the counter yet. And that's my next uh, ambition, <laughs> move to the counter. Men's shoes is a big one. With men's shoes, especially 11s and 12s, I'll throw that. <laughs> a little commercial. Once I put them in there that first week, they was happy, they had smiles on their faces, they said they loved their new school, so I knew they were comfortable. 
and that made me comfortable that I knew that there was in good hands. But you're investing in future business practitioners. Why wouldn't you invest in children? Um, they're the forefront of change. Um, they're the mecca center of great things to come for our future.